Oh, this is Porsche.com. Check this out. It's Rad, this is Dimitri. Yeah. yeah, thanks for calling me back. I appreciate it. Oh, no problem. In today's video, I'm going to give you my honest feedback and final review about Porsche.com. What kind of expectations should you have for this platform for 2020? It's end of 2019. It's my third review. I've been reviewing them for the last three, four years, and I've been reading a lot of you guys' comments. So please don't just treat it as a video review. I also wanted this video to become a public survey. So if you do have really bad experience or maybe a good one, comment below. I would love to hear from you. As a matter of fact, this video was born based on your comments on my last two videos. Those videos are not going to be available because at this point they're pretty much misleading. I review, I recommended Porridge three years ago, three months ago, not so much. I gave them a lot of second chances and I'm here to report to you that Porridge.com have been slowly dying and almost dead. I'm not sure if they will be able to resurrect, but at least for the next six, eight months, I don't think it's gonna be the case. Thank you guys so much for coming. So reason number one why I believe that Porsche is on a huge decline is pretty much somewhere at the end of its life is because of Lowe's.com. So Lowe's, you know, huge, huge, retailer, home improvement center, everybody knows Lowe's. And a couple of years ago, you would walk in, you see this Porsche.com signs, like pretty much they would promote it. They have affiliation with them. I believe they also were one of the investors or like there's some money was exchanged. I don't know all the details about that, but Porsche was definitely endorsed by Lowe's. Today, we went to the store here in Maple Grove, Minnesota, and sure enough, nobody knows who Porsche is or what Porsche is. Uh, one person was kind of confused couldn't tell us any difference I'm not sure if we're still partnered with Porch or not I heard that we weren't anymore one person says yeah we think there's still affiliation we are affiliated with them but you go to their website I personally went to Lowe's.com and sure enough Lowe's have their own installers and on their website I could not find anything about Porsche.com so if you go to Lowe's Lowe's wants you to find contractor through Lowe's. Like if you buy some exterior materials or any other materials, they want uh, their installation services. Now they're not gonna redirect you elsewhere. So that's one of the biggest reasons why I think Porsche.com has been on decline. I mean, they at least got some traffic from those homeowners walking in, shopping around, and I think leads were much better for that reason as well. Reason number two why I believe the Porsche is dying platform because they pretty much stopped creating content. For me, I take it very personally. When you have a platforms like Angel's List, Thumbtack, all the you know big giants that are trying to connect, homeowners a contractor one of the ways to do it you have to generate tons of valuable content check out porch.com youtube channel it's dead the video and their trailer have been put there four years ago i think the newest video have been produced two years ago like for example we already mentioned lowes.com lowes.com it's pretty much if you check their youtube channel it's hdtv I actually personally met a person who manages Lowe's YouTube channel. It's amazing, amazing production. They do a lot of helpful content. They have their own awesome playlist tips. It's like I said, it's like HDTV. It's a home improvement show. Why is it important? Because people, they don't want to be sold. They don't want to be connected. They want to come to a helpful place. They want to get idea. They want to get inspired. That's why HDTV is so big in home improvements because people watch somebody else breaking walls, demolishing kitchens, and all of a sudden they want to go to the store and buy you know paint or shingles and start doing improving their properties. Well. For a platform like Porch, who sells leads and connects homeowners and contractors, stop producing videos. I'm not even talking about videos, guys, about home improvement. I'm talking about videos, maybe how to use Porch.com. I mean, you cannot even do tutorial videos about your own platform. I mean, that's just sad. It's pretty much a sign of dying platform. You made the decision, you're not gonna make another video for your YouTube channel, you're dead to me. Sorry guys. Reason number three, you guys probably think, okay Dimitri, you're biased, you and your YouTube, you know, go get a life. Well, how about this? Porsche.com have not published anything on the Facebook for more than 60 days. I mean, are you guys even alive? I mean, is anybody there on Porsche? Come on! Over 60 days, here's their latest post, June 7th, today is September 9th. 
wrapping up our spring cleaning boot camp series. Well, for one, you published in June 7th spring, <laughs> spring cleaning boot camp series. <laughs> you, you're at least 60 days behind on that. That that post should take place, I don't know, maybe in May, April, not in June. June is not spring, or maybe this foreigner doesn't know something about how you guys roll here in the United States. But for me, you don't do spring cleaning in the middle of June, guys, come on. Like when you take social media, the way you guys take it, I mean, you're just dead. As much as I hate them, but look at Home Advisor, AngelList, at Thumbtack, what they do. Like I believe in content marketing. The more you put out, the more business you're gonna generate. And when you go back to your corner, you stop advertising, people will forget about you. Point number four, guys, is quality of leads keep going down. Um, we've seen a lot of reports. Marketing is all about perception. Porsche.com can come forward and say, Dimitri, you know, we have such a good things happening for us, quality of leads going up, and people don't know we do this, people don't know we do that. Well, the thing is, people are not gonna know. You have to put out content for people to know that you do that. Also, as far as like your data goes and the quality, I mean, I only see what I see on the internet. When I talk to 100 roofers and 100 roofers in my survey tells me that Dimitri, three years ago, Porsche was working, now it doesn't. Three years ago, we would talk to seven, eight people out of 10, and now we only talk to two or three out of 10. Well, that's your data. I don't know what you have on your end. I'm just a survey taker. Again, comment below with your experience. I'll consider that as well in my next video. But overall, it's been declining. There is no ifs, buts, hopes about it. I can testify to it. Like you make a lot of changes on your end. But as of right now, end of 2019, and I believe it's gonna continue in 2020 because those changes takes a lot of time to make, you know, it's still on a decline. It's not trending up. And it might shock you after all of that, but my speaking point number five is actually that Porsche.com is promising. I always judge platform by people behind it. And because I spoke to some people, VIP of sales, Rod, your industry is tough. I'm not gonna lie to you. Lead generation is tough. I still see the light at the end of tunnel. I don't think we're gonna see a lot of good changes for 2020, but I do see Porsche being a little bit different. So they're definitely promising. So I'm gonna finish this video with saying that I don't recommend buying their data list. As a matter of fact, VP of sales pretty much told me and approved the, this message that don't buy our data leads, they suck. And I'm gonna tell them to stop buying data leads from Porch. Do I have your permission to say that? Yeah. Awesome, that sounds very good. Thank you so much for your help and uh, I'll be in touch, sir. Yeah, and you got my number, call anytime. I'm, I, I'm gonna always shoot you straight, okay? Okay. All right, thank you, Dimitri. They're trying to fix their product. They're working really hard. I'm giving them huge credit for that. I don't recommend Porsche.com right now. Looks like they're trying to build, you know, new ways of connecting homeowners and contractors or more like real estate people, new home buyers. So they're trying to figure out their business. For what it's worth, I think somebody's working really hard like to take on a business like Home Advisor and Angels List and all of Thumbtacks, or like all the big, big platforms out there. I give them credit for it. So all we have to do, just sit and watch and see what they're gonna start offering. So Porsche.com just offered me to enroll in their special program when there is pretty much qualified leads. It's gonna be very different. I mean, we'll see if it is. I'm gonna be here first to report to you that it's finally working. You will find me the most reasonable person out there because if you change your model and you convince me, Dimitri, like here's our product and, and I'll try it. And if it works, I also gonna be your biggest advocate. As of right now, it's promising, but it's not working. This is the end of my review for Porsche.com for 2020. Let me know in comments below what kind of experience did you guys have? Do you agree with me or you don't agree with me? So Porsche.com told me that they already enrolled, I think 40, 50 people in this new program. If you guys, one of them and you watching it, please comment below that I'm on a new program, it sucks, or I'm a new program, you know, I'm killing it. I would love to hear from you guys. I value all feedback comes to our channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.